thought her cousin wouldn't talk. Sir? Like, it's that thing still hurts you till this day. That is so mean. And funny enough, I've heard someone else do this too. Jolo in in South Ah, especially, is like the worst thing ever. That person needs therapy too. I'm sure she my flex thing. Better than my last. I'm gonna ring her up. She will do pop for taste. Too sexy to be worried by the next. What is up, you guys? Your girl wrote that the ITS. Oh, back with another YouTube video. And as you can see by the title, it's Valentine's Day. And we have a very special segment of makeup and rants. I asked you guys to send in Valentine's Day confessions or just any stories that you guys thought were interesting or really cute, you know, to celebrate the month of love. I asked you guys to do this on Instagram and my YouTube community tabs. So with that being said, if you're not following me on my socials, what are you doing? Do that so you can participate in videos like this. Comment below if one of your confessions are down here because I'm actually very interested in seeing who exactly confessed to what. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, especially like, you know, a lover of some sort, you know, guys, we're spreading love, we're spreading lerato, we're spreading utando, we're spreading the to leave the So yeah, guys, let's get into that. So today's makeup look is something very sexy, seductive, with the pop of color, you know, red for the month of love, obvi. Um, I'll put like an inspo here because I actually have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so if you're trying this out with me, well, if this actually ends up looking nice and you guys decide to try, please tag me so I can see if I'm like a really good teacher, which I hope I am. So to get things started, we're going to speed through the base because I realized that's what actually make these videos really long. But anyways, if you want like a very detailed, um, just base uh, tutorial, you can watch my first or second rant. So all of these are actually like anonymous and I only read maybe like two a mistake. But other than that, this is like my first reaction to almost all of these messages. So you guys are gonna get my raw reaction and you guys are gonna react along with me. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows while reading the messages. Okay. So the first confession is well, it wasn't Valentine's Day, but then this guy that I've been talking to for months decided to meet up. He literally made me stand outside my house at like 8 at night and it was late. Mind you, it was winter. Then we grabbed food and the whole time I was forced to make conversation because he was quiet AF and judged everything I did, even my outfit. He was like, what is this? Because it was cold, I looked like an Eskimo. <laughs> but anyway, at the end of the night, when I was supposed to go home, man parks at the mall for us to eat our takeout and tries to get the cookie out of me. And when I didn't give him what he wanted, he drove me home like I had nine lives left. Needless to say, we don't talk anymore, but dude still keeps up with me on socials. The switch up was so real from the person I had been speaking to for months. That's actually really deep and really sad. So I'm actually going to rank these confessions or these stories. So we have about four tiers. The first one is you need therapy. You know, like the story you told me just tells me that you need therapy. <laughs> Two, are we living the same life? Because why did the exact same thing happen to me? Three, wish that was me. Something I could only imagine happening in my dreams type of thing. Four, I'm going to need a further explanation because what you just said, doesn't make any sense <laughs> and i think that one falls would definitely fall under um you need therapy reason being that like i don't know how sad it is when like you talk to someone and they just switch up and especially when it's a switch up that you didn't even see coming you know like that's the saddest thing one of the saddest things that can happen to you so i know myself i also needed therapy from a switch up like that so I think I'd definitely say like that's what that whole thing would fall under. I mean, 
that like he roasted you by asking you what outfit were you wearing like just the whole interaction was just so uncalled for in my opinion so yeah no babe i 110 say you need to go to therapy for that this sounds crazy but yeah i was in grade 8 and there was a girl i was messing with not dating per se but there was something yana going on then on valentine's day i didn't buy her anything and then on top of that, I ended up losing my V card to her cousin that night. What? <laughs> Worst of all, I tried to get back with her because I thought her cousin wouldn't talk. Sir? Ma'am? No, sir? Ma'am? I don't know. What? <laughs> you okay, you went dating with girl. You guys had like a situation ship and that type of thing going on. And then on Valentine's Day, what did you do? On Valentine's Day, you didn't get her jack shit, you didn't get her nothing. And then you decided to lose your virginity to her cousin. <laughs> and then still try to get back with her. Nah. <laughs> nah, you you don't you don't rate her. That's what you don't that's what you, you don't rate her at all. Like there's so much wrong with that whole statement. Where, where did you even meet the cousin? Where did you meet the cousin? How did that whole interaction start? Because you said the same night you lost it to her cousin. So how does that even happen? And also the cousin, like, I can judge, you know, I don't judge. Mara, like, your family, you don't care. Or you were just like, yeah, nah. um, I'm going to show this girl that she ain't all that you know she's probably gogo's favorite child or something hey, oh that's insanity yeah you guys go through things that eh? like and then on top of that like god really said character development for this house and that you also because that is definitely a character development type of thing because like why else would something like that happen like hey, yo damn 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 um, what would I rank that? I'd rank it. I'm gonna need a further explanation because I just don't really understand where you even got time to meet the cousin. Like, did the cousin end up telling her? Because you said you thought that she wouldn't tell her. So, does that mean she actually ended up telling her? And how did that whole thing go down afterwards? Like, how did the aftermath of Valentine's Day, how did that go down? That's what I really want to know. But you guys live some crazy lives, I'm not gonna lie. The next one says, bought a gift for a girl who ended up cuffing someone else a week later. Never bought a gift since then. And this was 2019. <laughs> so for the fact that you decided to never, ever, ever, ever buy a gift for a girl again, just shows that you're still sad about it. Like, it's that thing still hurts you till this day. So I'd, I'd say you need therapy, babes. I wish I wish this was sponsored by like some therapy thing, you know, because it's good. I think I'm gonna say that to a lot of us. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna say that to a lot of people because yeah, no, Umjolo in in South Africa especially is like the worst thing ever. But also, this just goes to show that. If a person doesn't like you, they don't like you. Whether you buy them stuff or you don't or you do, they'll like they could end up cuffing someone else because they don't like you like that. Just do things out of the goodness of your heart. Don't expect anything. Do it because you want to. Okay guys, so I did my eyebrows, now I'm doing my foundation. Like I said, we're speeding through this. So the next one says, I got flowers from a girl I didn't like. And I gave them to a girl I did like. Wait, what? I got flowers from a girl I didn't like. And I gave them to a girl I liked. That is so mean. That is so mean. I did. <laughs> That's so mean. That is, that is so mean. And funny enough, I've heard someone else do this too. From, I think, a birthday gift. And they ended up giving the same birthday gift to someone that they liked and it was like an insane birthday gift like i was like what the sun is playing hide and seek so if the lighting that guys is playing hide and seek with i feel like you're a pretty boy and you know it because that person was a pretty boy and you knew it 
because why else would you do that like why else would you do that i feel like you, you could just get any hand so you can just behave whatever way you want to behave because who does that you know, that deserves a ranking in its own that deserves a ranking in its own but i can't even tell you what the ranking is <sighs> maybe you need therapy because let's unpack why you behave the way you do that person needs therapy too that that that's so yo i yo i'd actually never buy someone a gift if i actually found out if i was the girl and i found out that you did that i'd never buy anyone a gift ever again in my life because for you to give it to someone else and especially like what if it was sentimental you know like what if it was like a sentimental gift and you just didn't care enough so you gave it to someone else like that's insane but I like Shame. So I just brightened up my face. I haven't contoured yet, and I'm just gonna like let this trakela a bit like sit for a minute so that um, it can work its magic. So the next one says, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day because of its history and in and in avoidance of worshiping Roman gods. That's valid. I mean, everyone has their own beliefs. The next one says, I had a crush I bought flowers for, went on my knees and confessed my love. Aww. Only for her to have another valentine. She bought flowers for who was a guy, short but taller than a midget. You can hear the pain. <laughs> you can hear the pain, Shave. You can hear the pain in that one. Sorry. Aww, sorry. I mean... That's, that's kind of sad, you know, like when you confess your love to someone and they don't like reciprocate it, you know, because they're just in love with someone else. Like, that's, that's, that's sad. So, I'm not gonna lie. That actually, I would say go to therapy, but are we living the same life? Yeah, I, I've had my fair share of confessing my love to my crushes and it just it's never worked out so <laughs> so yeah no that's something that has definitely happened to me a whole bunch of times um this one time it did happen um on valentine's day but i didn't actually confess my love i was actually gaining the courage okay i wasn't going to so no one judged me oh my sad little broken heart didn't even know what love was but i had this little crush and the teacher sat us next to one another don't know why but it was like in chain so for me it was giving god is this you <laughs> five you know so i got to know him and stuff and i was like oh like you know i kind of like him or whatever i was in grade two so i don't know what i was doing so i was building up the courage to actually like tell him i like him or ask him to be his valentine and at the same time i was hoping that he was gonna like say it first to me because you know i was still kind of shy and scared so <coughs> listen yeah like i said i was gaining the courage to ask him and all that and then he then like a few days before valentine's day he touched me on the shoulder and like we're about to go to break so he touched me on the shoulder and he gives me this note and like back then if you were young you remember making valentine's day cards you know for, and they were always the same they they look like this so he gave me this card and i was getting so excited because i'm like oh my gosh this is it yeah i like to say it first ah. so he gives me this card and it's obviously in the shape of her heart so i was getting excited so he says oh um please just give that over to that hand who was sitting next to me and at the time she was my friend so i was like yeah so he's like yeah please just put that in her chair bag because we used to have chair bags so he's like please just put it in her chair bag like behind the books but somewhere where she can see it and i'm like <sighs> my poor little grade two self my grade my poor little grade two heart was shattered into a million pieces and i was just so sad but i did it you know because i'm not one to stop someone from finding their true love but i don't think that actually like i think she rejected him or something like that and i was like yes but anyways that's neither here nor there all i'm saying is that has happened to me so i definitely say are we living the same life 
Okay, so I blended that out and now I'm about to try and contour. Okay, next one says, once on Valentine's Day, I tried to impress my date with a homemade dinner. Ooh, ooh. Love a person that cooks. Long story short, the smoke alarm became our background music ish. And we ended up ordering pizza. Okay, that's still like cozy, you know. If they really like you, I don't think that's much of a train smash. Despite the culinary disaster, who is this culinary disaster? Like, <laughs> I need to know who you are. No, that's that's English, baby. That is English. Actually, I think I know who you are. I actually know who you are. Despite the culinary disaster, we laughed it off and bonded over the unexpected turn of events. In another amusing love encounter, I once accidentally sent a heartfelt text meant for my partner to my boss. The message contained cheesy love lines and I spent the next day at work trying to explain my misdirected passion. It turned into an office joke making me the unofficial office romantic. And then there was a time I tried to impress someone by learning to play the guitar. Unfortunately, my rendition of love songs ended up sounding more like a cat in distress. I became the charmingly terrible sir, 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 serenade, serenader. <sighs> charmingly terrible serenader, and we both had a good laugh. Love has its quirky moments, and it's often the mishaps that make the best stories. Oh. That was, that was a bunch of really really nice stories i think i know who you are those, those are like such nice stories oh man from from someone like from trying to cook to impress them like it shows that like you really like to like put your best foot forward which i really like about like people that do that you know because it's like regardless of whether you were hurt or things like that like you're still gonna put your best foot forward like that's so nice i wish that was me i wish i was the one that was receiving all these like crazy grand gestures and crazy to the sense that like they were specific to me type of thing because it seemed like you're the type of person that would do that you know like i'm sure if i said oh no i like french toast then you're gonna Maybe breakfast in bed and it's gonna be French themed, you know, like you seem like that type of person. So I really, really like that. That was such a beautiful story. Oh, that was such a beautiful story. Oh my gosh. That was such a I really wish that was me. That falls under I wish that was me. I wish I was receiving that type of treatment. God, I hope you're hearing what they're doing out there. What the other brothers are doing out there for the sisters. I'm talking to you, Joe. <laughs> I hope you hear. Um, what other brothers are doing out there for other sisters you know let's stop this thing of you know the bare minimum and um just not really putting in effort you know because why would i want to spend my time with someone that doesn't put in effort i want effort like that I, nigga try to learn to play the guitar i want effort like that like <laughs> please god are you listening are, are you listening are you listening please don't bring me to ball and alas to learn my interests in life and now I want a tando that learns to play the piano because I said it sounds nice you know <laughs> that's that's nice that that's nice and that's a change you know for the fact if you look if you live in South Africa and you said that wow I have hope I find I officially have hope out there that things will get better <laughs> okay so we're doing eyes now She don't own nobody, she make plans now She make plans now, she got it planned out Hands down, she finesse and she don't need no handouts She won't do the walker to the fans out Hands down, she won't do the walker to the fans out